Problem stretched all the way to the border as well. That's where 10 News reporter Joe Little found a flooded road that was washing in way more than just rainwater. It has calmed down considerably here in the Tijuana River Valley. This flooding behind me here earlier this morning, it was dangerous and disgusting. This could be whitewater rafting if the rapids were actually white and not flowing over Monument Road in the Tijuana River Valley. I've never seen it like this before. Sean Martin drove from his San Ysidro home just to see it. And apparently there's a lot of water. And a lot of stuff that shouldn't be here. I think I just pulled up and I seen some big chunk of something. There is a bunch of trash flowing down through here. There's styrofoam, there's whatever that is. Standing in a few inches of water with my GoPro on a stick, I see tires rolling and floating right by me. Kids' toys rush through the current. Even shoes wash up on the road. Sadly, all of this comes from across the border from Tijuana's poorer neighborhoods. This is all an opportunity. An opportunity for Stephen Wright to raise awareness. His group, Four Walls International, actually uses some of this trash to build better homes in Tijuana. By building better neighborhoods, we can actually prevent a lot of this material from, from coming across. Coming across in waves. The heavy South Bay rain took a heavy toll on the Tijuana River Valley. But up the road, it was mostly rainwater slowing things down in Imperial Beach. However, stormwater drains were clogged. No water is going down this one along Seacoast Drive, leaving ankle deep standing water on the road. The trash from the Tijuana River Valley will eventually wash out to the ocean off Imperial Beach, guaranteeing these beaches will be closed. Gotta love San Diego, though. In the Tijuana River Valley. That's why this road is closed. Joe Little, 10 News.